Hey you guys! So today's video is going to be some advice to incoming first year students at UVA, specifically in the College of Arts and Sciences, on how to pick their classes. The first orientation is coming up, I believe July 7th. That means you guys are going to start picking your classes soon. Now this is a really exciting time because orientation is so much fun. It gives you like a sneak peek of what college is going to be like and you get to meet some of your classmates. But more importantly, something really stressful you have to do is pick your classes. I know when I went to orientation, I was completely lost. I had no idea how to use SIS. I didn't even know where to even start about picking classes. I knew that since I was on a pre-pharmacy track, I would be taking classes such as, okay, like general chemistry, general biology, but I didn't really know where to go from there. So hopefully some of these tips will help you out. Now, when you get to orientation, which is a two-day process, they tell you to pick 20 to 25 classes. Now, for students who aren't pre-med or pre-com, picking classes is going to be a little bit trickier. Now they say pick 20 to 25 classes, but honestly, you should look for more than 25 if you're not pre-med or pre-com. Because first year students don't even start picking their classes until orientation, a lot of the classes are already filled up due to second years, third years, and fourth years already picking their classes, which makes it harder when they're not big gen ed classes such as general chemistry or general biology or macro and micro economics. These lectures tend to be around like 500 or even less or more people. If you're not following these courses, you might be in smaller classes, even sizes of 20 or whatnot. So it's better to be safe than sorry and pick a lot of classes that you would be interested in. And you may not end up getting the schedule you want immediately. But you may find yourself enrolling in a class that you didn't think you would take and you might end up enjoying it. Also with getting into classes, it's really about luck of the draw with what your sign up time is. If you have an early sign up time on the second day of orientation, you're more likely to get into the classes that you want since they do reserve spots in classes for first year students. So they're not completely just out of luck. Luckily enough, I had an early sign up time so I was able to get into the classes I wanted, but even my roommate, she didn't get into any of the 25 classes that she was originally interested in taking. This is why it's really important to look at a large variety of classes. Now as far as picking classes go, I have some other tips on how to choose classes that you want. If you aren't an Eccles or Rodman scholar, you have to abide by requirements that the Arts and Sciences School leaves for you which you can find on SIS. Now a great website to check out is Lose List classes by department or even requirements. When I was trying to fulfill my requirement for the non-Westerns perspective, I just went on Lose List and looked at all the courses that were filed under non-Western perspectives and checked out some of those classes, saw what I was interested in, and then registered for that class. This website is really helpful because it also tells you how many people are already enrolled in the class, whether or not the class is open or closed, and what times the classes are offered. So it's a really good source for just finding everything you need in one location. Now don't forget, especially if you're coming from a Virginia school, if you dual enrolled in any classes in high school, or if you took AP credits, Hopefully some of those will be able to transfer over so that some of your requirements will already be filled. Something I highly recommend doing before you sign up for any class is checking out the reviews of the professor and the class on this website specifically geared for UVA classes called Course Forum. Course Forum rates the difficulty of the classes, how likable the professor is, and a lot of reviews by the students which makes it really helpful to determine whether or not you want to take a class. Because a class may seem interesting by the title, but then you might read the reviews and see that it's a really bland lecturer or your grade is just not going to be good if you take this class. Another website you can check for this that they have at a lot of colleges is RateMyProfessor.com but Course Forum is a lot more useful and has a lot more recent reviews than um, Rate My Professor. Course Forum is literally like the holy grail of signing up for classes at UVA. It's other advice I would give is that you should probably try to figure out how you would want your classes to fit in your schedule. They say that you're supposed to take at least 15 credits so that if you end up dropping a class, you will still be able to be a full-time student. A lot of pre-med students will find that a lot of the science classes have labs and discussions, so that fills up like a 
bulk of your schedule. So you want to keep that in mind when you're signing up for classes, how hard some of these classes are going to be, and you want to make sure you have a nice balance so you're not overwhelming yourself, especially in the first year. A great website to figure out how your classes look in a schedule format is uvaschedule.me where you can put in the name of the class and it will show you all the times this class is offered and kind of put it in a schedule format for you. This is really important because when you sign up for classes on SIS and transfer them from your shopping cart into enrollment, you aren't able to enroll in all of your classes if there's time conflictions. Now, if you are confused about how to navigate SIS, I'm going to link UVA's tutorial on how to use SIS down below, along with all the other websites that I've mentioned so far. Now, if you find a class that you're really interested in and you just really want to take it, don't be afraid to waitlist in this class. A lot of the times, students will get into the classes that they're waitlisted for if they aren't too far on the waitlist. Sometimes students will wait even a week after class started to even get off the wait list. Now my advice with that is that if there is a class that you really want and you think you will be able to get off the wait list, when classes start, still attend that class and maybe you can even talk to your professor and ask him or her to see if you actually can enroll the class because sometimes professors will take the initiative to enroll the students who are really interested but are even lower on the wait list than some of the other students. Once you've got your schedule and classes have already started, the first week is usually known as syllabus week because the professor will give you their syllabus so you can see kind of how much work you're going to have to put in this class, how often you're tested, what is the percentage breakdown of tests and quizzes and homework, which can also help you determine whether or not this class will be worth it for you. My biggest advice, don't feel the need to overload on classes, honestly. Your college course load will most likely be a lot harder and a lot more time consuming than your high school workload. Because I had my dual enrollment credits along with my AP credits, I didn't have to stress as much about taking more than 15 credits. So if you're in a similar situation, I wouldn't worry too much about taking more than 15 credits. And lastly, scheduling does not stop at orientation. Students will be dropping classes, you'll go higher up on the wait list, you might end up finding another course that you're interested in. And this might all seem overwhelming right now, but you'll really get the hang of it because everyone does. And I really wish you the best of luck. Hopefully you have a great time at orientation and I hope you get the classes you want. If you have any more questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it. If you have any other suggestions on what other videos you would like to see, I will do my best to make them for you guys. So best of luck.